Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the new SnowRunner game. First of all, write game mode in your search bar. Make sure that the game mode is at off. It was causing me stuttering and I was also losing FPS at game mode. Uh, game bar, make sure it's at off. And also all those capture stuff from Windows, make sure they are at off. Don't background rec recording at off, recorded audio at off, really important. Second thing before opening the game, make sure that you update your uh, drivers if you have AMD or NVIDIA. They launch uh, a dedicated driver for this game, so really important to do your update. For NVIDIA, I've gained 7% in my FPS, so pretty nice gain over there. Uh, we will not go over the config file because I didn't see anything specific that we can change to improve the, the, the FPS. So uh, we will go directly inside of the game and you have a lot of different parameters that we can change. So let's go in the game. So now the graphic inside of the game. So first of all, make sure that you're playing full screen. I had like stuttering and losing FPS when I was playing Borderless in this game. So go with full screen, really important. After that resolution, really depend on your monitor. I'm playing 1080p for me, 1080p is good. But after all the change I will show you, if you still don't get whatever your objective, if it's 60, but probably you will need to lower your resolution. I'm not using the V-Sync. NTL is the first thing that you can optimize over there. You can put this one at off and use the FXAA. It's a good compromise and you will gain 6% in your FPS. Sharpening, uh, I'm using the uh, filter one, the Fidelity FX, not a huge deal. Honestly, sharpening plus film grain, you will maybe lose like 1% in your FPS, but it's not a huge deal. You can definitely use them. After that, advanced video. So now the first one is the Terran draw distance. This one is really important, but it's also it's not a battle royale. So if you have like a laptop, integrate video card and stuff like that, really entry level computer, go with low. It's not a huge deal and you will gain like 3% for each bracket. So it's, it's, it's a huge deal if you compare ultra to low. So really important to go with low for this one if you have an entry level computer. Grass density, it's 2% for each bracket. So I, like medium, it's a good uh, start, honestly. If you still don't get your 60 at the end of the guide, uh, go with low, but medium, it's pretty much, um, it's decent. Object quality, this one is the detail level of the object and also the visibility distance. So huge impact over there, 4% for each bracket. You should definitely go with medium. I saw a huge impact between medium and high, but not a huge difference between medium and low. So medium is a good like compromise in this game. Simulation quality, this one is more about physical simulation and uh, in, in the game. I feel like it's more CPU bounded because I did two different tests, one on the i3 from Intel and one with the Ryzen one. And on the uh, Ryzen, I saw like not a huge impact in my FPS if I was going to low versus high. But on the i3, it was like a huge upgrade. So if you have like um, an, old, an old CPU, not a really good CPU, not a lot of cores on it, uh, go with low or medium for this one. Shadow quality, this is the most important uh, graphic parameter in the game. If I compare ultra to low, you can gain 60% in your FPS. So really important this one. You should even just start with this one. Put this one at low, test your game. If you're uh, satisfied with your FPS, don't touch anything else. Texture quality and texturing filtering. I uh, depend on the VRAM on your video card. So if you have like four gig and more, go ultra and 16 X. If you have like uh, three gig, go with I and eight X. If you have two gig, go medium and four X. And if you have less than two gig, go with low and two X. So for me, I will stay like this. Ambient inclusion, uh, really important, 6% boost in your FPS. But again, just do your test because if you go with shadow at low and ambient occlusion at off, you will see that your game will look like shit. So just do your testing. If you have your 60 without any problem, maybe you can just check your uh, ambient occlusion add on. Water quality, you have two options over there, low and medium. So if you have an entry level computer, I recommend low. If you have medium entry computer like G GTX 960, something like that, you can definitely use this one at high. Volume fog, really important, uh, on versus off, 8% boost in your FPS. So if you want to use it and you need it, use it. Light shaft, it's like 3 to 4% in your FPS. So depending again, if you after all the change that I, you did, you're, you're fine with your 60, just go on 
with uh, those three parameters. And the last one is more mirror. It's the reflection when uh, you're in first person view. If you feel that you're dropping in your FPS, it's probably because of this parameter. So if you have stuttering, drop of FPS, go with off and you, it should uh, resolve uh, your issue. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section of the video. Uh, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.